Gossip Gavotte, or oh, The Triumph of Book One. This is the piece to make sure that you have learnt all of your book one so well and that your low twos are fantastic and that your staccato is brilliant and that your string crossing is superb and that your bow landings and retakes is, you know, really polished and awesome. So there's nothing actually new in here. It's just recycled. So if there's something in here you find a bit challenging, I promise you the answer is in the previous 16 pieces of music. And if you have been playing them every day and you feel really good about them, this is just like a celebration of all the stuff you're good at. So let's play the first chunk. I hope that you have already worked through the third and fourth sections. I feel like we could probably play the first half of this now because that's all the easy stuff. Let's play the beginning. Find me a nice ringing third finger. Oh, do you want a tune? I'll give you an A. Here's an A to tune to. You can play them together, check the perfect fifth out. Over the D string. And G. All right. huge oh my gosh hang on just just do this for me again make sure your fourth finger rings please ready go oh okay much better again ready go hmm now let's play three four three one keep your wrist down ready go I'm going to stay in the lower half of the bow so it's easy for me to control. Ready, go. Mmm, now that first finger is looking delicious. Squash second finger right beside it, please. Keep your wrist down. Have a listen to mine. Yep, ready, go. Ah, again, ready, go. Squash. Keep that wrist down, don't let it do a creepy. Ready, go. Oh, good, now listen to this. I'm gonna leave the two on. That's like my new saving the spot finger. Ah, I'll turn around so you can see it. Ready, go. Yeah, so did you see my second finger's on? Three hops down for a second and then up. Two, three, two, A. Two, three, two, A. Like that. I'm practicing my great C natural that of course we're really good at because we learned it back in etude and that was ages ago now. Third finger on, first phrase, ready, play. Super, again, ready, play. Mm, one more time, ready, play. Great, now hang on, just, just tuck that in your pocket for a second. I wanna hear this. Yeah, I've stolen it out of Minuet too, right? Okay, so play me. Okay, now I want to hear this. I don't wanna hear the A string in the middle. Ready, go. Yes, I'm really dropping my arm. So see the doorknob in the middle? I'm above, below, above. Easy way to see what's going on, right? Now that sounds nearly right. Dum, ba, bum. Yeah, da, 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 dum, ba, dum, ba. 
Oh, there's a grace note. Grace note is that one that's got the little strike to it. It's almost like the composer wrote it in, they decided they didn't want it, or they only wanted to hear half of it, or they just wanted to hear it on the way to the next note, like tripping and keeping going anyway. So try this. This one. Oh, this is new. We haven't done grace notes before. Sorry. They're such an easy thing, I just forgot about them being new in here. So put first finger on and put second right beside it, okay? Great. One more time, big sniff. Yeah, when you sniff, remember your bow comes up to your hand. Ready, go. Oh, hang on, I should make my bow straighter. I think it wasn't in line with my bridge. Well, yeah, that's better. Okay, ready, go. Okay, now let's try. Ready, go. Let's do five. Five really good ones. Ready, play. One. Congratulations. Can we rescue ta 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 add that on? Okay, ready, set, play. <gasps> Let's do it again. Ready, go. Stop your bow, please. Yeah, do you know what? Inside my head, I'm just going kookaburra, kookaburra. That's how little my bows are. Next bit. Okay, tuck that bit in your pocket for later. Yep, okay, great. Get that low two back on. Yep, okay, listen to mine. Hmm, so that slow trill again. Ready, go. Good, go again. Hmm, okay, listen to mine. Nice and easy. Ready, play. Good, set your low two and then make sure your wrist is down, please. Don't let it get squidgy and squashy. Ready, play. Good, my turn. Oh, I'm adding a first finger and how exciting. Ready, two, three, two, A, one, go. Good, let's go again. Ready, play. One more time, ready, go. Okay, now the next bit's so easy. I'll turn around so you can just see my nice second finger, a semitone away from one. Here I go. <gasps> Cross. Aha, uh -huh. let's do that. Two, three, two, A, one, two, one, three. Gotta dive to D string, people. Ready, play. Let's do it again. Ready and one more time. Go. A. Oh, it's another trip note. You ready? Catch your foot. Ready. Two, three. Yeah. Go again. Two, three. Oh, it's a C sharp. I like that because then my fingers are close together and it's really easy for me to play. Go. Mmm. So. A, two, three, D, go. Cross. Good, go again. Let's do it five times like the other one because that worked really well. Ready, A. One. Two, three, two, A, one, two, one, three, A, two, three, D, go. Remember your little bows. Again, okay, little bows. Ready, go. Yeah, perpetual motion bows, okay, or etude bows, but more staccato because they're all marked staccato. Oh, do you think we could put those first two chunks together? 
Okay, let's do it. Ready, set, play. If I'm going too fast, you can press pause and practice it yourself slower and I will never know. Who's feeling like they're really good at the first bit? Yes, okay, you got a bit for free because that comes next. But you already knew that from all your good listening. You knew. Uh, hang on, this feels familiar. The next part's the same again. Let's play the first three chunks. Ready, go. Now we get to play run, pony, run, pony, stop, trip, D. Okay, here's the run, pony part. Now it's a bit like playing, oh, oh it's like playing etude. One, three, one, three, check this out. Run, pony, run. to D string, take the one across to D string, play the three again on D string, play the one again on D string, take the three to G string, open D, A string, D string. Cool, let's do it again. Ready, play. Cross, cross, D, A string, D string. Let's go do that again. Well done. Ready, play. Yes, again. Ready, and. Two more times. Ready, play. Keep your bow stopping nicely. Great. Can we put it all together? First bit, second bit, first bit, last bit. The run pony part. Okay. Third finger going. Ready, set, short bows. played that high three on G. You did, right? You noticed that it was higher and you were stretching your finger a bit? Yeah. So I'll just turn around this way so you can see what happens. Ah, it really is a semitone higher. Okay, so no one gets scared off by that. Here's my ringing third finger. And then my ringing third finger. And then my stretchy third finger on G. C sharp, not C natural. Okay, so it's a high three. Just like we played already in mini way two when we played high three. It's exactly the same, but we're playing it on G. So elbow is going to help us. Let's play the next little chunk. Oh, I like this bit. It's, there's only one more trip note and you already know it. So it's really easy. Kookaburra, kookaburra, stop, 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 lift. Kookaburra, kookaburra, stop, 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 lift. Kookaburra, kookaburra, stop, 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 lift. Kookaburra, kookaburra, stop, stop, stop. Whew. And then you already know the next two chunks. 
How good is that? Okay, third line, bar nine, if you're playing along at home with the sheet music. A, two, one, three, two, one, A, three. Ready, go. <laughs> Let's do those eight notes again. Ready, go. One more time. Now sandwich your second finger right next to third finger. Oh, sharp then low, or high then low, whatever you want to say that. Best friends. Oh. Mm, second finger's moving back across the string. But we already did this in etude, so it's actually not scary at all. We're just going to notice it, okay? One more time. Snuggle up. Leap back. <gasps> Great. Let's do the next little bit. Or stop me and practice that bit again if you want. I'll never know. I love this, it's all on the A string, it's so easy. One, three, two, four, three, two, one, A. And because we've been playing our fourth fingers well since Lightly Row, using fourth finger is so easy for us. Ready, go. One, three, two, four, three, two, one, A. Yes, again, keep your bow stopping really well. Ready, go. One more time, ready, and. I love this bit, ringing third fingers. One, three. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to stick those two bits together now. A, two, one, three, two, one, A, three, high, then low. One, three, two, four, stay on A string, three, one, three. Let's do it, ready, and. Let's do that whole line again. Ready, go. Whoa, very good. Now, if that's all easy, here's the last little bit. Or you might want to save this bit until you're really good at the, the stuff that we've already done. Up to you. Four, three, three, two, two, one, one, A, A, two, E. I play an E. You can also play four on A, doesn't hugely matter. Four, three, three, two, two, one, one, A, A, two, E. Three, one, two, three, two, A, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's have a go. Four, three, three, two, two, one, one, eight. Oh, that sounds so easy. Put fourth finger on. Ready? Check your, your wrist is in nice shape so that your fingers are on their tips. Great. Do it again. Ready? And. Ready? Go. A, two, E. Land. Okay, now, can you just do this for me? Ready, go. A, A, D, D, A, A, D, D, D. Ready, go again. A, A, D, D, A, A, D, D, D. Okay, now you've got the bowing for the next part. That's the hardest thing about it. Three, one, two, three, two, A, one, two, three. That sounded so weird, didn't it? Let me play it for you, like, connected, and it will sound much better. That sounds familiar, right? So the only tricky thing here is the bow crossing, okay? A string first, you want to watch my bow. Cross, 
cross, cross. Yeah, again, ready, play. Two, two, one, two, three. I'll turn around so you can see my fingers. Ready, and. I'll do that one more time because of the weird low two, high two stuff going on. Ready, play. Did you get it all? Okay, let's put that whole fourth line together now. Fourth finger on, check this nice shape please. Ready, go. Congratulations! Now, I know you've already worked through the other two videos, so you can already play the next two chunks. How good is that? So, once you've got them all joined together, you might really enjoy playing all of book one with Audrey and I, and adding your gossip go bot on. Or just, you know, you can stop and listen to us do it if you're not quite ready yet at tempo. And when you feel super confident with book one, I made a video that's just the accompaniments so if you feel like really great about all your book one pieces, you can play all your melodies and I will play all the accompaniments. For every piece, I play you the introduction, like, hmm. And then you start. You, of course, play etude, but I am playing the accompaniment. And that's just another way of practicing your book one, polishing it, getting it really shiny, really confident. So the book two is easy because of course you're already listening to book two, right? And you can sing the first half of book two. Great. I really look forward to seeing your video of Gossip Gavot or let me know on, you can leave a comment here and say, yay, this was great. Now I can play it all. Or, okay, I'm going to practice this really well now because I'm pressing pause every two minutes to do things 10 times. I don't know, but I would love to hear from you about how you're going. So. Good luck, enjoy, and congratulations, because this is the last piece in Suzuki Violin Book 1.